Good morning. Welcome back to Castle Farms Homestead. This morning, Brady's got to do some editing. I'm going to do a few things I can do on my own, like one thing I want to work on is cleaning up some of this wood that we've got here. I want to be using that for a project. Going to be forming up some uh, uh, concrete forms for a fun project that I'm not going to tell you about quite yet, but um, uh, you'll see that here soon. Also, I want to deal with the garden. We want to continue to get that ready to do some planting. Even though it's late in the season, we can get some stuff planted. And as soon as Brady gets, uh, gets where is it? Over here. As soon as Brady gets uh, done with his editing, we're going to jump on that hoop house and see if we can't get all those uh, hoops set up and ready for concrete. This is the wood I'm working on. And you can see there's a bunch of brackets on them. There's nails, staples. These are some of the wood that I've already cleaned up so far. And I'm hoping to get enough of these two by sixes. If not, I've got some two by eights there that we can use. So I'm just gonna clean a bunch of that up right now. All right, I think that's all the uh, wood that I'm gonna clean up. Um, that's uh all we can do for today on that because Brady's finally done editing. So as soon as he gets around here, then we can do something. <laughs> but, oh! <laughs> there's, uh, there's, uh, I should turn it around. Hang on. That's the wood that I cleaned up. Not too bad for about a, I don't know, how long I spent on that? Hour and a half, maybe? Hour, hour and a half? So those are good straight boards. And I wanted to show you real quick too our sprinklers before we go over and start working on the hoop house. I'm gonna run over there, show them to you. Earlier, I set up that crawling sprinkler, um, but it was having difficulty crawling through this stuff. So um, I decided to try a different method, which is with these big, I don't know, if they're commercial grade or what, but uh, they're nice big portable sprinklers. Got one there and one here. I've got them hooked up to separate hoses that go around and connect then over there. And uh, so I can move these as needed. So they're working really good. I can adjust, they're fully adjustable, 360 degrees. The tripod on it will adjust up to 48 inches tall and uh, they're supposed to shoot out up to 45 feet which is perfect for this garden area because on the long side from a corner to a middle is approximately 40 feet so these seem to be covering real well i've already kind of sprayed down other areas over here this is the last area i'm spraying down and if you'll remember from the uh, other video. The reason I'm doing this is I'm trying to moisten the ground underneath all this compost, and then I'm going to hit it again with the with the uh, tiller on the tractor over there, and see if we can't dig it up a little bit better, get a little more of the dirt up into the compost, and get a good mix. So that's where we're at with that. Let's get busy on. Well, Brady's playing in the dirt. <laughs> get busy on the hoop house. When last we left this dynamic duo, if you know that reference, put it in the comments. <laughs> we had these three hoops that are up and in the holes, but not secured yet. We've got, still got to secure our baseboards and hip boards on both sides. First thing we have to do is actually measure the locations of where the hip, or not the hip, the hoops are going to go. And... Uh, <clears throat> And then we'll secure them in. We bought some new screws and keeping our fingers crossed that these are going to um, not bust off at the tips constantly like the last ones, which were very frustrating.
as you can see, we've gotten those pieces on. We have these holes left to fill though. Unfortunately, this one right here is, yeah, you can know, see it's, it's a little in. Yeah. So we gotta, that's the middle of the hole. We gotta dig that out a bit. Here we have a rare shot of Clint working. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's why it's rare, You're out of breath. Took a little hydration slash cool down break just a little bit ago. We're back at it now, but but we see these big dark rain clouds. Heard some thunder, and we're really really hoping <laughs> that it rains on us just a little bit, not a lot of rain. We just wanted to sprinkle on us, cool the temp down a little bit, but let us keep working. Okay, I just saw some lightning over there too. Oh, well that's disappointing because that will make us stop. Yeah, lightning will make us stop. But that's a pretty ominous cloud right there. Uh-huh. Yep. But the sun peeking around the edges looks nice. It's just... Boom. I asked Clint to explain what we were going to do next, but he just said, No, those dumb people on YouTube can figure it out themselves and then he stormed off. So I'm gonna explain it to you. Because the wood beams aren't long enough to cover our, all four of these hoops at the same time, we're going to finish these three hoops right here, and then we're going to stake them plumb and secure like we did down there, so they can be freestanding on their own over here. And then we'll do this fourth one, with small pieces between these two sections here. Kind of blew it there. We, uh, because we're starting from this end on the last little bit, got a little excited and we squared everything up and put in our supports for this side. And then it dawned on me that I forgot, I forgot, but we really needed to measure from our last pole to make sure that we were the right distance between poles. Technically, it probably wouldn't really matter, but we'd like it to be as close as possible. So we're actually two inches off here. So we need to move this end that way, two inches. And on the other side, we're one inch off. We need to move that side one inch. It's not gonna be that difficult. Just need to disconnect our support piece, slide it down, reconnect. So we'll get it close.
<laughs> we just got uh, rained out, pushed out. <laughs> we were trying so hard to get that last bit done, but uh, uh, the storm came in. It surrounded us. Yeah. And came in. <laughs> so lots of lightning and thunder, and it's coming down pretty good right now. But, uh, but it was a good day. Yeah. We got a lot done. Yeah, we did. Yeah, I was, I was, I'm still excited. We didn't get everything done on the hoops, but we're really close, and that, that's pretty good. So. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about that. Me too. So, we will call it a day today, and come on back and see us next time here on Castle Farms Homestead. Homestead.